What's going on, off you guys? How are you guys? I hope you're well out there. Welcome to Off You Kiss and Me, and I appreciate you for stopping by here with me today. It is the 29th of November, 2023, and it is Wednesday. It's 10:40 a.m. right now. I am. Hope you guys are all well. Thank you guys for all your contributions and helping this channel grow. In advance, I appreciate every single last one of you, old and new. Thank you so very much. And if you're new, I do Oracle, I do Index, and I do three decks of Tarot, okay? So, let's get started. I'm going to use this deck today. The Higher Self Oracle. Let's see what we get. If it is your birthday today, happy birthday, Ophiuchus. It has officially begun. Well, I know the book that I have says the 29th, so yeah. Here we are in our season. Matter of fact, let me, before I even start, like, let me see something. Let me see what the, what it says. What constellation is the sun in today? Oh, it still says it's in Scorpion today. Interesting. I don't know if it maybe would transition. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, we'll see. I'll, <laughs> I'll do it again tomorrow and see what it says tomorrow. But however the case, um, let's get back to what we do. The planets do what they do. And I'm doing what I trying to figure it all out, you know, <laughs> let's see how this thing works, works and goes and moves and all that there, but how about the case, I'm quite sure it's, it's approaching fast, if it's not sometime today, at the end of the day or tomorrow, because it will be going into a new month anyway, so, yeah, all right, last time. Perfect. Just go with the flow. Let go. Let's see what it says. All right. It says here, you will find that it is necessary to let things go simply for the reason that they are heavy. So let them go. Let go of them. I tie no weights to my ankles. A saying by C. Joy Bill C. This card brings to the fore that the need to let go of someone or something in your life that no longer serves your highest good. There may be a friendship or relationship that needs to end, but you are still holding. You are still holding on, although it is no longer healthful. In this case, you are asked to let go to make room for something better and you, you are asked to let go to make room for something better to enter your life. If a relationship has ended, trust that you have learned the lessons. 
from that partnership. And it is time for new lessons to be experienced elsewhere. Remember, the love you share or shared is never lost in truth. If you are holding on to the past out of regret or due to a very painful or life-altering event, your higher self will like you to free yourself by refraining from reliving your past decisions or experiences. Let go of shoulda, woulda, coulda. The past has become a dark companion in your life and it is time to leave it where it belongs in the past. Unburden yourself by freeing yourself from this attachment or you will carry it like a malignant tumor which will darken and spread to all areas in your life. If you are experiencing loss in some way, let what is leaving fall away. Everything is always replaced at some point in time. Keep in mind that your higher self had a plan before you incarnated to take the path and steps necessary for your spiritual evolution. Cycles of loss are included within that very plan, but they are never meant to harm you or impede your growth. Rather, they are placed there to challenge and develop your soul. If you are struggling to let go, complete the detachment ritual below. <laughs> I'm not going to get all into that. I don't believe all that stuff is necessary. Some people may you know, find it whoa, find it useful, but it's not necessary. Okay. Okay, so let's get out our index cards here. See what we get. I'll just leave it there. They all want to fall out like that. So whatever. <laughs> you are crazy about them. Let me get this one that fell over here. YouTube likes to break up your whole vibe with all their silly commercials. It's all good though. Let's get a couple of locations here. A lot of energy popping off here. In the middle of this reading here already. Notifications coming in. One more. Funny, I'm, I saw this here, Italy, and this morning I was watching, I don't know if it was YouTube or something, and it was a black lady, and she was like, it was some caption at the bottom, like, they don't like black, she didn't say, she was just like, they don't like <laughs> us here, India, and I'm like, damn, like that, Italians, that's how you feel, <laughs> I 
like, I don't know. I've never been there. I'm not going to judge anybody. If they don't, they don't. It's, you know, whoop de doo But it's just funny how that came out. That was the first thing that I thought of because I just saw it, like, not that long ago when I was watching whatever I was watching on social media. The world is so crazy. People are so crazy. What is, what's the point of being racist, really? Where did that get you? Let it go. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. Believe. Out here is just going to be it. It's too late. Flight attendant. And I have here the last pile. Let's see what we get. The way that I have my camera set up. I don't have a whole lot of space right here for all the cards, so. Try not to take as many. Okay. You glide through effortlessly. Literally, I just posted that too. I saw a little boy playing this immaculate piece on the computer. He's like four or five. And I, I gave the emoji clapping hands like 15 times. Like, oh my gosh. I was like, effortlessly, <laughs> effortlessly done. You know what I mean? Like, damn. Like, pro protege, is that what they call him, right? Like, amazing. Five years old, I mean, he was just, his fingers were just gliding across. Looked like he wasn't even trying. Like, <laughs> well, so here, you're a real romantic. Okay. I think the card just flew out with it. Whatever, I'll get one. You work in retail? All right, here we go. over a week they can't concentrate they make you feel young again you have a hammock you have beautiful eyes eye color first date don't waste any more time you don't fear the unknown. You listen to punk rock music a lot. You have a cat or cats or a pet or for pets. Someone played themselves. You could be co-parenting. I know you better than they do. Back backwards is a sent progression. Your bags, your coin, your money is on point. You're accepting the process. Powerful words were said. You have electrifying energy. Forgive and forget. Give it to God. Let it go. And you'll be surprised at the progress that will come after that. You're a night owl. Get ready. Sunday, fun day, brunch with friends and family. You drive a Land Rover or a Range Rover. 
you mean the world to them i'ma be i'ma be i'ma be rich black eyed peas and they want you somebody is trying to manipulate a situation here and it is a miracle you are a party goer not your usual type releasing yourself from it you could be a hospital worker things are moving rapidly they are not telling you something <laughs> It's on. Someone's name starts with the letter S. Your glow up is glowing. You from the old school. You do things old school. And that's all right. <laughs> Put your trust in God. And it's all right. Do you need any more confirmations? They love you. Don't worry if it hasn't been said yet. Continue to climb the ladder. You're almost there. You could travel for work. You're a casino goer. Or gambler. Someone has a sweet tooth. Life path number four. You're very organized and stabilized. Uh, you're into working and making things happen. Someone is used to playing mind games. And you can be from Washington, D.C. or would like to visit Sri Lanka, Denver, Norway, Utah, Boston, South America, anywhere, Guadalupe, that's in South America, right? And we have Canada. The Cayman Islands, all right now, Italy, <laughs> and Malaysia. All right, so letting something go, releasing, allowing new energy to come in, be present, closing doors, opening new doors. So, of course, I'm going to use that deck. Let me get another deck over here. Unfolding path, and then I use the door deck. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we get. Letting go, just releasing, holding on to things that just aren't any good for you. We're going to almost into a new year, you know turning another year older, you know, old ways, old friends, just things that hurt you, you know, holding, just holding on to things that just really don't, don't, don't align with who you are anymore. Yeah, believe in change, that's only good thing I heard from the commercial. Believe in change. <laughs> All right, one more time. All right, here we go. The Four of Swords talks about healing you have healed or you're still in the process of healing from some sort of hurt or you're just getting a lot of rest you know <clears throat> a 
which is still healing, even though allowing yourself to actually rest. That is, um, yeah, a good thing. Salons. Brand new energy. Period. I'm going to be, I'm going to be rich with bags of money I'm going right. Think of new, exciting things. Okay. Let me take it down so you, so you can see. All the cards. Okay, so then here I have the hangman in reverse, which is you being enlightened, you understanding. You've been in this space long enough where you were uncomfortable, or you know, with you you've rested long enough. You've been in this resting space. And now it's time for you to, um, like, reap the benefits or something of that nature and do, and get back out there and be successful and, you know, accepting the process, okay? King of Wands and the Two of Swords underneath this here, Ace of Wands. You're somebody that, um, oh my God. Okay, I can't, you guys. It's gonna, it's gonna aggravate me. Hold on a second. When I say it's gonna aggravate me, yes, it will totally get on my nerves, get under my skin. And while I'm trying to do this video, Okay, I can deal with that for a second. It's the commercial. Alright, so here we have it. Let me turn it down. King of Wands and a Two of Swords. Okay. So, this is you, I'm imagining, with a wand in your hand. Ready to get back to life. Ready to make things happen for yourself. With the two of swords, it could have been something that you just kind of had to make a decision on kind of quickly. Um, something that may not have been the easiest decision to do or something like that. It says here, releasing yourself from it. So... Okay. So... And now with this playlist, I can't fast forward unless I've listened to it for a while. Okay. All the changes. All right. So here we go. Interesting. You have here a Queen of Cups. Maybe you were in a situation with a water sign. Getting out of a relationship or getting over them or something like that. Swords, finding out some sort of clarity about this person, what they're really about. It says somebody was trying to manipulate the uh, situation. Okay. <clears throat> Someone's used to playing mind games. So here with the nine of pentacles. And the 
is falling right on top of bags and coins and money is on point. And it's a miracle. Here with the Eight of Swords. So it was a difficult decision, but it was something that you had to do. You, you, like, you got, you got the full scope, I guess, maybe on this person. It says that they're not for you, and it's okay. Move forward for backwards is in progression. <clears throat> you were in a difficult situation with them. They played themselves though. Wow, yeah, because it was they like I guess they played a lot of games with you. here with you with the nine of wands you're not giving up on yourself you rested and now it's time to get back out there and attack that's why you're sitting there with the king of wands as confident as you can be so yes with the three of coins i guess this was somebody that you tried to make something work with or you tried to work with them try to make something out of it but <clears throat> They just really just disappointed you, whoever they were. They weren't for you. So here are the two of cups. Now you deserve a, a whole new type of love situation. And here with the knight of wands. That is you. <clears throat> Um, just kind of being young. Didn't it say something about they make you feel young again? Yeah, right here. They make you feel young again. So, you know, you're disappointed. Interesting. Well, I mean, it could go two ways. Or maybe this queen of cups is somebody that came along after you being in a space of hurts. But, I mean, I didn't pick it up like that when I was reading. But, however, like I said, it was somebody you were trying to work with. They hurt you. Um, maybe, you know, it was a relationship. You know, it was somebody that you were with. Uh, two of cups. It was an actual relationship. You were trying to build with them. But they showed their hand. And that's what I'm getting. I'm not going to say this. I'm not going to reverse my what how I was already going, you know? So, yeah, this was a love situation, okay? And um, either it was a love re relationship and or there is maybe someone else coming in with these two cups sitting here right behind her, you know? Like, yeah, they disappointed you, but you kept, you know, pushing through. You know, and here comes another love opportunity right there for you. You know, maybe someone is not your usual type or something like that. They make you feel young again with the Knight of Wands because that's a youthful, you know, like, hey, you know, let's let's just try this out, see how it works, you know. Um, you know, in your energy already of wands, you know. So I'm not too sure. You know, you're just pushing through doing things the way that you only know how to okay so here with the five of swords um you definitely um you know went through the motions with this person um And maybe they just caused you, you know, I'm not, maybe just a small bit amount of, you know, just anxiety, you know, like, if, you know, the fear and all that stuff. I don't think you fear anything. It's just like, gosh, you know, how did I get myself wrapped up with this person? And um, it caused you to... Realizing that you needed something new, you need to let go of that old energy, 
get on with your life. Okay. All right, guys, here's the second deck. Didn't forget, you to get it, let it go. Hmm. One more time. A high priestess. You just knew what you knew it was time. You knew it was time. You couldn't uh, proceed and stick around for this person to continue to play games with you. With the devil. Yeah. They were a very toxic individual. That just wanted you to be stuck. But you deserve something much better than that. Okay, you, you didn't allow them to keep playing with you. They played themselves for sure. So you kept working on yourself, even, you know, having the power to walk away, having, you know, whatever it was, even if you had to be a little um, strategic about it, taking your time, getting your ducks in a row, you know, maybe you lived with them or something like that. Definitely weren't married to them with the four wands in reverse, you know, and it wasn't nothing worth celebrating or even trying to go down that road with this person. There's your ace of swords again. You got this clarity about this person with your bag and money and everything being on point. They could have possibly been like. A money hungry like type person you know just with you just because you have money you know or you were on your way to getting that or something like that things moving rapidly in your life because you are a king of wands making things happen you know very creative and so on and so forth and yeah so appreciate you Ophicus for being here with me today on a few days and me where I do your daily reads. Come back and rock with me anytime. I appreciate your time and energy. Love and support if you're still here with me right now. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. And uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. Here we go. With the temperance here, you um, are very humble and you are very balanced. You didn't even like trip out on the person, you know. You just said what you needed to say. Powerful words were said, you know. You didn't waste any more of your time. You'd be accepting the process and. You have electrifying energy. You are king of wands, ready to get out there and do great things with yourself, your time, and um, your passions and everything. Life path number four. You're very, you know, hardworking individual, stable. And this person played themselves. So, yeah, you definitely about releasing somebody that definitely just was not for you. You're someone much better for you. Trust that. Trust that. How to feel what I feel when I'm feeling in the sunshine. <laughs> Six of Swords. Yeah. What I feel, what I'm feeling. Yeah, easy 
peasy in the sunshine, cruising, smooth rolling, all that. And you will roll right on to an uh, actual four of wands situation. This is four of wands in reverse. It's four of wands in upright. So that you're going to get a new opportunity that's going to take you there. Where you're going to actually have somebody that you can celebrate this life with. That person was ungrateful. In the sunshine. <laughs> yep, sunshine. It's going to be somebody that makes you so happy. But you have to let go of this other person. So get ready. You did what was required. You got your rest on. You healed. You like, nah, man. I can't believe this person really thought they were about to try to manipulate. <laughs> Didn't it say that somewhere? I don't know if it said somebody tried to manipulate. Oh, yeah. Somebody trying to manipulate. Trying to manipulate, you know. That's not happening. Keep you from working. Keeping your energy knocked off. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's two Eight of Pentacles, two Four of Wands, and two Aces of Swords. You are the star. They recognize that. You recognize and always have known, but there was a part of you that was being... Uh, held back because you were with that energy and now they're sad they're mad about it they can't concentrate because you've moved on with yourself and you're so happy and fulfilled in your new space <laughs> oh well love you guys take care have a wonderful beautiful day and i'll see you guys later take care bye, -bye.